This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. What little Dirk puts up a message, always telling himself, one, you not no main op if you ain't did ish. The song been made. You guys giving federal vibes all the false transition. You snitch on yourself, bro. Come on, stop. Little Dirk is in trouble, facing a 10 murder charges, facing probably future Rico charges. This guy talks too much. Seriously, I'm just telling you. Like, Little Dirk is involved in too much, around too much. It talks too much and always talks that ops talk. Like, calm down, bro. Bobby Schmurt is so mad that he has to pay producers 10K. Dude, that's nothing. You're, you're going around spending 100000 on jewelry. You got sh Bobby Schmurtish money. Bobby Schmurtish money. You're throwing money. You're throwing money around. You're saying money isn't anything. You got money. But then you're crying paying producers. When honestly, bro, like you're just trying to keep all the money for yourself. You're trying to be selfish. Like a, like a typical artist, keep all the money for yourself and not share the money with, with people who are like, Honestly, the beat is making most of these rapper songs right now. Um, then we got YG getting a little spooky, doing a little, you know, a little gender change in his video, uh, dressing up as a woman, uh, dressing up as the Kardashians, getting a little, little, you know, maybe he's just living his truth. I don't know something that's going on there. Nicki Minaj signs an artist called uh, Tate Cobang to her label. Hopefully this works out. She said, he said, well, the cat's out the bag. Yeah, I just closed my deal and signed to Nikki as an artist. I hope it all works out. Nikki's producer artist Tate Cobang previews new song with an interlude from Nikki. She's had an artist before. We'll see if this one works out. Then we got Jim Jones and Mano. They're, they're a group now called the Lobby Boys and they think they're really tough. These guys talk about their past run-ins with each other, like, you know, they were the toughest guys ever. And, um, you know, uh, they're talking about, yo, people had to come to the lobby to, to do the version. It's like, come, come, stop trying to spice it up, bro. Like, you guys did an album together. It's cool. I mean, I, I like people doing albums together. I like people making music together. Um, I like that Jim Jones stays motivated and stays consistent with the music. Uh, he's still staying hungry out here. I love that. Um, and uh, they talk about the Rico case against Young Thug and uh, Gunna. And lyrics being used against them and say, uh, you rap and you rap from a perspective. Um, I say it's kind of crazy. I sometimes when I rap, you know, uh, woke up in the shade room. Shorty took me home. Uh, it's just a bar. It shouldn't be taken. You know, he's talking about like, uh, I, I can't really say what he said. <laughs> but, uh, you know, vulgar things are said in rap. He says it shouldn't be taken out of context. It's a story. Might have been things you've seen, heard of, or anything. Uh, director, screenwriters aren't prosecuted for their work. That's a good point, honestly. You know, they make a good point. Um, anyways, that's about it. This is Jordan Town with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. I will check you guys in the next one.